happy Mommy Pro Weekend. Happy Friday. I have to ask you guys something super important. I mean, before I forget, the first thing I need to ask you, do I look tan? No? <laughs> Alright y'all, so it is Friday, it is noon, we have spent the entire morning doing some admin work, getting the vlog ready for tomorrow. I do want to apologize because last weekend's vlog was like two hours long, it was ridiculous, I'll link it down below. I, you know, it was three hours. Why? Why are you so noisy? So, it was a three hour vlog. Like, what do I have to tell you that is so even remotely interesting that it has to be three hours. Like the Avengers, the, the last Avengers movie was three hours and I refused to go see it because it was three hours. <laughs> thinking about that, thinking about the way that I weaseled out of watching the Avengers movie is what motivated me to cut down a three hour vlog to about an hour and 40 minutes. Like seriously. <laughs> So I have been spending a lot of time outdoors, which is why I look significantly tanner. Um, plus, I have been stacking the deck by wearing lime green t-shirts and neon nail polish. So um, Mexico is in two weeks. I'm so excited. You guys, even my teeth look white. <laughs> okay, so it is noon. Um, I have a lot to update you guys on. I need to get my website ready. That sounds so weird, like my website. Like, is it a blog? Like, what is it? What are you gonna put on there? I don't know, but this is my thought. When I do my cooking channel, um, there are gonna be recipes that I want you to be able to print out. There are going to be handouts or worksheets or articles that I find interesting about, um, you know, the reason that the gluten allergy became so prominent or popular in the US um, when it's not at all even a thing anywhere else in the world. Um, so all of these things, files, PDFs, recipes that you need to be able to access, I can't do that with a YouTube channel. I mean, the description box is, is filled with plenty of links already for me to be able to include all of that stuff. So I need a landing ground, I need a landing zone, I need a kind of like a little place you and I can meet up and um, I can give you that information. I can give you access to those resources that you don't have to go and like scan through a 60 minute video to try and find what I mentioned. So I can always have something to refer you to. Think of it as your notes or a textbook where you can go back and you know, hey, you know what, that chapter where she talked about sauteing is where she mentioned why she uses Calphalon Contemporary Cookware or whatever, I don't know, you know what I'm trying to say. So that's like the work part of today um, is figuring out my site, um, getting the vlog completely finished for tomorrow. Um, I know you guys are looking at my t-shirt. It's cute, I know. It's a really cute t-shirt. In fact, it's actually a cropped t-shirt, but it's not cropped where it shows your tummy. It's just cropped where you can't tuck it in. And you guys know I'm all about that French tuck. Like, if it's tuckable, I'm gonna tuck it. And this is something I can't tuck. So let's play a game where every time I say tuck, you kiss your pet. I was gonna say take a shot, but then you'll die. So. <laughs> Let's make it a little more PG and fun and cute and adorable. So Sophia, come here. <laughs> anyway, um, it's my new t-shirt from um, Fabletics. So I always talk about Fabletics in my vlogs. Um, I get their leggings. I have way too many leggings, but you guys wanna know the secret. Okay, so here's the secret, coming closer. Now that I have two bonus daughters, they love leggings. And so I'm like, well, okay, my leggings drawer is getting ridiculous. Now I have two leggings drawers. I need to figure out my life. And I go and I Marie Kondo my leggings. They love leggings. So now they wear my leggings. So the leggings always find a safe home. Plus they look a lot cuter than I do. <laughs> but um, okay, so if you guys have tried um, Fabletics before, you know the material is very... It's like compression like fabric. So it's gonna make you look good. It's like Spanx. However, in the summer, the idea of putting on Spanx like fabric makes me want to vomit. So <laughs> I did a haul on Fabletic stuff that I would like to wear during the summer. For example, this t-shirt. I mean, who doesn't wanna wear a neon t-shirt, right? So at some point in this vlog, I'm gonna show you the rest of the stuff that I hauled. It's really exciting. Um, but for now, I need to stop wasting time because Parker's gonna be home soon and we're gonna go on a Costco date. And you know, that's, that's 
very exciting and I want to make sure that I'm done with my work so that I earn my Costco trip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I should probably make the bed too. Okay, so uh, my dog is currently on my bed right now. Where is she? There she is. Look how peaceful she is, just sleeping on the foot of my bed. Um, it was so funny because the other day I posted um, on Instagram this little video of Mern laying on my clean bedding. Like I had just changed the duvet cover, the sheets, the pillowcases, everything. It was like as clean as it gets. And Mern is just full on taking a nap, minding her own business. She could be completely unbothered about me telling her to get off, right? And <laughs> you guys know my dogs. They're in every vlog. They're part of my family. I mean, they have an opinion. They count, they're valid, they have special diets. Like they're, they're just another person that lives in this household. And someone was like, don't you have doors? You need to close the door. She said something like, you don't wanna let your dogs run your life. She could have dropped the I and meant ruin. <laughs> but I posted it because I thought it was so funny. I'm like, you must be new around here because the entire Instagram story of my feed, like my entire life, my entire Instagram story, probably my Instagram feed if possible, like if I could figure out a way to do it, would be my dogs. <laughs> They're my other children, and since I don't share my human children, I'm like, well, might as well blast my dogs on Instagram. So I was like, oh man, Melinda, you must be new around here because they're voters in this community. <laughs> anyway, I need to make the bed, and I need to get some work done. But every time I put the camera in front, I'm like, oh, well, let me catch up with my friends. What have you guys been doing? <laughs> quick check-in with this little nugget. Okay, I have to take like one minute to say if you have a blog or a website or a website that's a blog or a website that's not a blog or a blog that's not a website, wait, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> if you have anything that even remotely is sort of semblance of a blog or a website, you are awesome. I have been sitting at my computer for hours trying to figure out all of the website things and it is so confusing. Um, the only thing that I know that I have successfully been able to do is acquire my domain coffeebreakwithdanny.com. <laughs> That's it. That's all I know. Everything else, I have no idea what I'm doing. So I haven't been able to publish my site because, well, I don't have any posts. So <laughs> That wouldn't make sense. Um, but that is really difficult. And it's especially difficult when half of your brain is occupied trying to make this one feel better. I don't know if you guys can hear. Let's be really quiet. Did you hear that? He has had bubble guts all day and he has been vomiting nonstop. So it's like running to the backyard every few minutes, uh, making sure he feels a little better or can at least relieve himself. Um, so it's been a day. Um, this one, I don't know. It's like another day, another illness. It's always something, whether he's acting loopy, he doesn't remember people, um, he's barfing up a storm. Um, so, hey, comes with the territory of a 13 year old, right? <laughs> so yeah, it's been, I've just been sitting in front of a computer. Like, okay, it hasn't been that long, but it sure feels like it. 
especially with this one. I feel like when you are preoccupied with one of your kids, worried about one of your kids, or being distracted by one of your kids, concentrating on something that requires that much like brain power is quite the challenge. So we're gonna take a little break right now. Parker is still not here, it's five o'clock. So we're just gonna snack a little and kill some time before Parker gets here. I honestly don't know what the plan is. I feel a little deflated after struggling so much with my website, um, but I mean, it is Costco and I would much rather go to Costco on a Friday than a Saturday, right? Tell everyone how you're feeling. What are your symptoms? Hmm? What are your symptoms? Say, I'm not feeling so good. I'm not feeling so good. Handsome boy. This is my handsome boy. Oh, you're the cutest thing ever. Guapura. Ay, que niño tan guapo tengo yo. Oi, ¿quién es? Oh, ¿quién es papá? ¿Quién es viejito? Viejito bello. Hey, hey, you guys. So, Friday night, hot date night in full effect. Wait, I should have said that better. Hot Friday night date night? No? Say it five times fast. I can't say night twice. Night night? Friday night, hot Friday night, date night. No, see, do it again. Friday. Hot Friday night, date night. No, you can't say nights. Friday night, date night. You have to say one night. Hot Friday, date night. Yes, <laughs> but it doesn't roll off the tongue, right? No, it does not. It doesn't, it has to have two nights. So I'm here on my late night, Friday night, date night. <laughs> Three times with this one. And um, we were watching Sometimes Maybe in a While. What is that movie? Always Maybe Not Maybe. Always Maybe Next Time. <laughs> you guys, it's so sweet. I want to go home just to finish it. But we were hungry. This one got off a little later than usual, but it's okay because he was working on his fitness and I'm the one that gets to reap the benefits, Gucciness. So um, we were watching this movie. Always Be My Maybe. Always be my baby. Always be my baby. He said it all romantic all day. I was like, wait, what? What are you saying? Always be my baby. <laughs> I didn't even realize he was talking about the movie. I was like, okay. Um, so the movie is about um, an amazing, amazing celebrity chef. Ali Wong is actually playing the role. Um, but there was so much food in that movie that Parker and I were like, is it? Is it time? Is it time to eat? So for a hot, hot Friday night date night, we are at a restaurant called Thai Noodle Wave. This place is always bursting during lunchtime. I've never been um, for dinner, so I'm really excited. So you guys get to see us eat some noodles. What? <laughs> Why do you keep this? I, don't, I just put it away. You don't know what to do your hands. Put it away. Body. Anyway, you and I will catch up later because this one. It's getting hangry. Boop, boop. Noodle wave. Oh. oh, look at that. They're shiny. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little bit after 9.30. Yesterday, after we left the Thai restaurant, I was in such a rush to watch the rest of the movie that I didn't check in with you guys. I didn't tell you about the food, nothing. Okay, so the dinner was delicious. The portions are huge. So Parker and I could have easily gotten away with one entree for the both of us, but we went ahead and got an appetizer two fruity drinks, and three entrees. So needless to say, we have enough food for today's lunch. <laughs> and probably extra. So we got the Pad Thai noodles, we got spicy beef, and we got Penang curry, which is my favorite. The Penang curry there is a little bit more chili-based versus cream-based, which I prefer a creamier one, but it was still really, really good. We loved it. We rushed home. We watched the rest of Always Be My Maybe. Oh my God, there are three scenes in that movie 
that I would make my wallpaper. There's this part where the guy says, I've missed you, and I'm like, oh, you need context, obviously, but when he says, I missed you, I don't remember if it was I've missed you or I missed you after like 18 years of being apart, I was like, oh, all the feels. And then there's this part where she goes, I've loved you for 18 years. All the super mega feels. And then this other part that I can't tell you because basically like almost the end of the movie. So anyway, you have to see it, it's on Netflix. So I mean, just borrow your girlfriend's password or your cousin's password or someone's password and watch it on Netflix. It's so, such a beautiful story, I loved it. And I love all the cameos of other actors in it. Um, so yeah, we watched that and then we watched a different movie. Um, I don't remember the name of it, it has, um, I think it's Al Pacino and Bradley Cooper. It's about the clear pill where it like makes you use all your brain power. Anyway, I fell asleep like 20 minutes in. <laughs> Today, um, I've been rushing around cleaning my studio because I need to get a lot of content done in my studio upstairs, like in the beauty room. Um, and uh, it's it's been a little nutty. I haven't been in there. I have such an apprehension about being in there. You know, like it just reminds me of beauty and makeup and just, just the whole climate of everything that's going on right now. And I know that I should keep doing what I do and, and keep representing the way I represent, but it's just so discouraging sometimes, you know? So I look at makeup and I'm like, I don't wanna promote makeup right now. I don't wanna promote anything having to do with makeup because it just promotes ugly behavior, you know? Like makeup, makeup is supposed to make us feel pretty and it just makes me feel so ugly to be a part of this community sometimes. Now I do have to say that there are channels that I am loyal to and I will always follow like April Athena and Jam Beauty, um, just happy channels, you know, place a place of peace, a place of friendship um, and I need to stick with that. I need to stay with that and I need to to think about those things and be a part of that community. Um, anyway, so Parker went to work. Um, I'm gonna get some work done in the next few hours. He'll be back when I tell him to come back. <laughs> if he doesn't remove himself from the equation, like I'm not productive at all whatsoever. So um, I wanted to update you guys so you know what's going on. Anyway, that's, that's the update. Um, we didn't go to Costco yesterday because I wanted to watch that movie. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna get some work done. Then we're gonna go to Costco. We'll probably eat at some point. And then tomorrow, Parker's gonna spend half the day with his brother, maybe sister-in-law. I have a girl's brunch with my two girlfriends. Um, man, I feel, I can't shake the idea that I was gonna tell you guys something. That I was like, oh, before I take a shower, I need to make sure I tell my pandas X, Y, and Z so I don't forget. What was it? I don't remember. Anyway, I'm gonna go shower and then I'll check in later when we decide um, what videos to film. It's kind of like up in the air. I have nothing that's like, that I'm itching, itching, itching to cover. So I'm like, wow, the world is my oyster. I could film whatever I want. I don't think I, I remember that feeling. And so I'll need to get creative in the next like 20 minutes. <laughs> hey you guys, it's 12.30. I barely finished one video and it's this one right here. So I did the makeup that I had in my JCPenney collaboration video. Um, it's also in a weekend vlog. A lot of you guys asked me about it and I was like, I like to do what you guys ask me for because then that means you'll wanna watch it. However, every time I do a makeup video, no one sees it, so. <laughs> Fingers crossed, you ask for it and you get to see it. So right now, I have to do a few other videos. I wanna do my current favorites, which I think might be a little boring because it's all like summer and sun care related but I'm still gonna do it. I also wanna do my latest Amazon finds video. Um, and then I also wanna do, I'm getting way overzealous over here. Oh, my deodorant video. Holy mackerel, it's been way overdue, but it is something that I am passionate about and I kept trying new deodorants and I just finally said, enough is enough. I'm drawing the line at 12 and we need to talk about it. So I think I'm gonna do the deodorant video next because I'm like in the zone. Like right now I'm in the zone where I wanna talk about armpits, you know? But I feel like if I'm gonna do an armpit video, I need to do it in a tank top. What do you think? Am I overthinking it as per usual? You guys. So Parker went into work this morning as just like, oh sure, you have to work? I'll go nab some overtime, no big deal. 
Um, well, now he's stuck there because something really dramatic happened. Um, he has a really badass job, I have to say. Probably one of the reasons why I'm like, that's my boyfriend, is because he's a badass. Just saying. Anyway, um, so we're here for the next whatever, whenever, however long. Can we talk about how tan I look? Just, I, I think it's it's been like 10 minutes since I've talked about my tan, so just uh, hold on a second. Let me, let me just give you a little peekaboo action. Oh, snap. That's not makeup, that's a tan. Now I don't match. My face does not match my body, and the reason I'm sitting like this it's because you guys are on this little itty bitty tripod that I have, so this is as good as it's gonna get, okay? So, I'm hungry, and I thought I was gonna be done working so we could go to Costco. I may or may not have been planning on what I was gonna order at the Costco cafeteria. So now the good thing is I'm obligated to keep working. So that just means making more content. Um, and that means I'll have content for when I get back from Mexico, even though I won't have a chance to film that weekend. So I was a little stressed out because um, next weekend we both have our children. So it's super rare that all four kids are together on a weekend. It's common that they're together during the week, but on a weekend, it's like, oh my God, what are we gonna do? Should we take a trip? No. <laughs> it's very common that we coincide where all kids are together on a weekend. So that's next weekend. So we're like, what are we gonna do? So I'm not working. I'm not lifting a finger when it's like YouTube related. Um, and then the week after that, we're in Mexico. So I lose two weekends of when I can film. So if I can really hunker down right now, film several videos that are like easy topics like empties, what is the sorcery, stuff that I wanted to do but it's not super urgent, um, I can film those and just have them on deck. The only thing is y'all are gonna have to be okay with me having the same makeup look. I don't know why I just close one eye. Do you guys do that? Like if I close this one, it's a little, but if I close this one, I close it with like conviction, you know? Like I could talk with just one eye closed, like like a pirate. Um, so yeah, that's the status of our lives. Um, I wish I wish I had the status of their lives. Do you wanna see this? So there's the status of one little lady's life. And then the status of Chubber Nubbers. He's actually in trouble today, which is why he's so close to me. He feels awful, but he has been so bad, you guys. For me to say that Wesley was bad, it's like once a year, but I think the only times he's bad is when his diabetes, 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 whatever, is acting up, um, and that's when he'll pee on stuff. Now, here's the thing. Why is it that when his diab whatever is acting up, he pees on things he's not supposed to. And it's not in the house, it's outside. So I feel like it's almost like a behavioral reaction instead of a physical, which is why I get mad, because it's totally avoidable. And so I get really mad, but then I can't get mad enough because he's never bad, you know? <laughs> Do you guys have a child? It could be a fur baby or a human baby. That is always good always good, but the one time they're bad, you have a really difficult time reprimanding them because they're always good, that's Wesley. That's my four-year-old. Like, <laughs> what did my four-year-old do the other day? He did something really, really naughty. And I was like, you know, you're not supposed to do that. Do you wanna go to timeout, blah, 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 blah. And he was like, <gasps> mommy. Me and mommy, and I was like, oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't say that, obviously. I remain firm to my parenting, but on the inside I was like, I love you. <laughs> Don't hate me, I hope this doesn't cause you trauma. <laughs> but man, I've said it before and I'll say it again, being a parent is tough, y'all. So that's it, that's the status of my life. I'm gonna film two more videos and then I think that's gonna be it. I think I'm gonna run out of juice. I'm just gonna be like, ugh, I'm over it. Look at my forehead, you guys. 35 year old wrinkles right there. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think I'm gonna do favorites and then 
I don't know if I should do favorites. I want to do favorites for sure, but I don't know if I should do empties or sorcery. What do you think? Empties or sorcery? Oh, you know what? I'll put a poll on my Instagram so that while I film my favorites, then I'll film the other one. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I love you. Hey, you guys, it's five o'clock. I am the biggest douche canoe on the planet because I'm trying to take my profile picture, like my avatar for my Cooking Break with Danny channel. Um, so obviously I would put on a chef coat because what else would you wear? But I feel ridiculous because I'm wearing a full face of makeup and I have to say, I don't plan on wearing any makeup in my cooking videos because I won't. <laughs> We're talking about food, so I feel like it's a little too much. I think tomorrow I'm gonna film a get ready with me light makeup tutorial, um, and then I'll retake a couple of pictures to see if I can find something better. Although I'm so impulsive that I'll just deal with what I already took and just be like, okay, whatever. I think I'm just in a sassy mood because Parker's still at work, and it's very, that's Myrn with her toy. It's very rare that we have a weekend just to ourselves where there's no kids. Um, just us, us, just the two of us. Usually there's some sort of event or function with the kids or we have one set of the kids, not the other. Um, there's always something going on. So today was gonna be fun. We were gonna do, I mean, nothing spectacular. We didn't have tickets or reservations for anything, but we were just gonna spend time together. Um, but it comes with the territory with his job. Um, so I don't know what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. I am pretty hungry, so I was thinking about like driving myself to like an in and out date, but I'm also tired and I just wanna wash my face. Um, and I also have to work on my website. <laughs> I am the biggest douche, you guys, in this vlog. This vlog is gonna be full of useless, non-helpful information. Um, I did wanna show you guys my Fabletics haul, but I don't know if I wanna do that right now. It's getting cloudy and I'm like, hmm, the lighting isn't optimum to make me look amazing. See, again, I'm being a douche. <laughs> um, so I did a Fabletics haul with like comfy clothes that can be worn with jeans or it can be worn with like a denim jacket or something like that. I feel like um, when you see like a Fabletics ad, like when you see Kate Hudson doing yoga and stuff, like it makes you feel like you're all about that fitness. But um, let's be honest, 99% uh, of the people that wear leggings aren't all about that fitness. So I wanna show you guys some realistic Fabletics clothes on how I would wear it or style it or both. Um, I got these leggings that are so cute. They scrunch at the bottom, super, super cute. So I think I'll show you guys that tomorrow, maybe after my brunch with the girls or maybe before. Um, I don't know if it's gonna rain tomorrow though. I should probably check the weather cause it's Dallas. I mean, today it was sunny, right now it's cloudy. Tomorrow it might snow, who knows? Anyway, five o'clock. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I did though, I spent an hour or two uploading or not uploading, designing and changing the cover art of my channel. So like when you open up my channel, that little banner that's at the top, it took me a whole like two minutes to do. Not bragging, but kind of bragging a little bit. Okay, I'm awful at that kind of stuff. I told you guys in last week's vlog that like, I'm like, sure, I'll rewire a lamp and I'll change a dimmer switch and I'll do scary stuff with concrete and electrical work. But when it comes down to like digital design, um, creativity with like font and um, graphics and layout, girl, I'm not, I'm not any good. Like I'm not any good at all when I do that. Um, I get, I'm impulsive and impatient. And so I don't have the time to like sit there and move stuff around and shape it and change the size and drag out the color and change the background and you know, do all that artsy fartsy stuff. Like I, I can't, I need instant gratification. So unless it's in an easy template, I'm not about that life. Although I should look into hiring like a web designer because websites are hard, you guys. You know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna have some sandia. Yesterday we cut half of a leftover watermelon. So right now we're gonna snack on it because you know why? It's like 80% water. It's totally refreshing and it has antioxidants which are good for the skin. Just kidding, I'm hungry and it sounded delicious. So do you wanna come with? Yeah, let's come with. All right, was that a comfy ride for you? I sure hope it was nice and smooth because you're on a tripod, although I banged into every possible cabinet I could have run into. So, um, I don't know. Yes, I'm wearing sweats with my chef coat. Don't judge me. Ah, oh, you guys, we have all that leftover 
order from Noodle. Thai Noodle Wave, Thai Wave Noodle, whatever the heck. I have all those leftovers. Do you think it, do you think Parker would get his feelings hurt if I ate that for dinner by myself? He shouldn't, he's the one that abandoned me all day today. Um, but I kind of want to have watermelon too. So what we'll do is we'll eat watermelon if we're still hungry, we'll get some leftovers. But um, this is a very common snack um, in Mexican culture, but I'm pretty sure it's common and popular in others um, because it's just the use of salt. But if you've never tried watermelon with a sprinkling of salt, you are missing out on one of the most delicious snacks ever. Obviously, you don't wanna to use too much salt because a lot of salt isn't good for you, but if you just take a tiny little sprinkling of um, salt on your watermelon, it's gonna change your life. I know I say that a lot in the vlogs, but you know what? I love to change your guys' lives, so. <laughs> So right now we're gonna enjoy some delicious watermelon and then I'll probably check in later and I'll we'll have washed my face, played with the myrrh, and uh, done some more computer work. You guys, this is a lame vlog. Tomorrow, Veto and Nusha better show up with the big guns and a lot of entertainment, you guys, because this vlog is kind of a drag. remember I checked in an hour ago and I said it's kind of cloudy I don't think I want to do the try on right now because it's getting a little cloudy but I haven't checked the weather I don't know what the weather is gonna be like in Dallas tomorrow <laughs> y'all it is a full-on storm lightning thunder it's insane you really can't rely on Texas weather you guys in the drop of a hat in one hour in one hour exactly it went from sunny and warm to really dark and cloudy to a full-blown shower it's it's showering right now look at your brave little popo look at your brave little popo in the rain look at your brave little there you can see how heavy it's raining look at that can you hear the thunder and just like that there is a thunderstorm outside. I got hungry, so I reheated my Pad Thai leftovers, and now I'm going to sit in bed to eat my dinner while I watch Netflix. Is anyone else obsessed with like incarceration type programs, like where they get arrested, where they get released, while they're in jail, anything jail related? I find it fascinating. <laughs> So that's what we're watching right now. We're watching some Netflix, we're eating leftover pad thai, and we're gonna get these two little beggars out of the room so I can enjoy my dinner. Hummer, Hummer, what do you want? It's spicy, you can't have it. No ma'am, no ma'am. Hey, 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 oh, what are you doing? Oh, that's sweet. Well, that is sweet, okay. You wanna lay right there while mama eats her dinner? My sweet girl. Where's Popo? Hi, Popo. He's a cutie boy. You want some pad thai? My little international boy? Yeah, you do.
happy Sunday. So you'll never believe at what time Parker decided to show up. I wouldn't know because I fell asleep. <laughs> so he was working all night. Um, I actually got up early today and I got such a good head start on my day. I have my video edited, uploaded, links and everything ready to go for tomorrow, which means it'll actually be a Monday video. Um, this is my hair sprayed hair. I need to brush out my waves in a minute um, right before I leave because guess what? It's still raining. What the heck, Texas? So my whole plan my whole plan was derailed. I was gonna get up early. I was gonna do a makeup for a girl's day date kind of thing. Um, and when I woke up and I realized it was still raining, I sent out a group text to my noosh and my veto and I was like, hey y'all, are we, are we dressing cute or are we gonna yoga pants it? And uh, but I was like, I'm gonna use my pregnancy card and say yoga pants. <laughs> I was like, soulmate um so we're gonna do this and we're gonna do this and we're just gonna keep it super cash i am starving i had one proper meal yesterday and it was leftovers so i'm very looking forward to going to up inspired we've shown this restaurant before in the vlog um probably more than a year ago it was when i was still doing the dating thing and it was just a nightmare and i needed some girl time and veto was always like my go-to to just moral compass me back to normal you know <laughs> so we are gonna go to up inspired kitchen at 10 and then uh parker was gonna have a boys day with his brother but we just decided as significant others to crash their day and accompany them so later today uh parker and i are gonna meet up his brother and his wife and we're gonna go play golf which it totally makes sense that i use this outfit because i'm um very insanely talented in my athletic abilities. That's why I own so much athletic clothes. You know what I'm saying? I wonder how many people are new around here and don't know when that tone comes in that I'm being completely facetious. <laughs> okay, so right now, um, I need to show you guys my outfit of the day, then we need to leave, then we need to eat, then we're gonna have some couple double date fun with this amazing glam makeup. You guys, can we talk about this for a second? This is the problem with neon polish. It's like pretty, 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 pretty. And then the day that they decide to die, they all die. <laughs> they all peel at the same time. But we don't have time to fix it, so we're just gonna roll with it. So that's the current state of my life. I think it's like 9.30 right now. We're meeting at 10. Luckily for me, it's close by. So I'm about to show you guys the most delicious pancakes of your life. I really hope they're still on the menu because they always inspire me to get two meals. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are doing the official outfit of the day. How cute do I look? It totally looks like I'm all about that fitness, but you know what? I'm all about that fitness, these pancakes in my tummy. I just ruined that joke. Anyway, um, how cute is this outfit? I have to show you guys all the stuff. Do you see those handsome feet in the corner? Look at that. Look at those delicious feet. Mm-hmm. My feet, Cochinas. Don't be perverts. All right, so um, I have to show you guys all the stuff I got from Fabletics. It's so cute. It's like, <laughs> I kind of work out just in my heart. Um, it says California made. Very appropriate. I'm actually wearing it with one of those free people bras. Um, cute tank top. It runs a little big, though. This is a small, and I could still knot it, and it's still, you know, pretty loose. Look at that. It's roomy. It's probably roomy for all those people that actually work out and get sweaty and don't like clothes to stick to their bodies. And then this is my latest Fabletics discovery. This is my new latest obsession with the two for 24 leggings. Do you see that little strap at the bottom? I don't know if you guys can tell. Here's a close up. So this is the classic compression fabric. Sorry, new towel problems. This is the classic compression fabric, but it's like a thinner one. And then look at the bottom. Yup, that's my knee you can see right there. Mm -hmm. You'll check out my knee. Cochinas. All right, and then you see this little scrunch? It kind of does this. And then you can pull it and it like scrunches it more. And so you can make them shorter if you want, or you can make them cuter. So I just went with the long look because I don't want these strings hanging all down, but I don't know if you can see on this side. So you're still getting sort of that ruching look. Um, and then you can tighten the cable down here or the cord and then just tuck it in. I kind of like it hanging, it looks cute. Um, 
but I thought that was really cute and I actually got it in this color too. Oh wait, huh. totally ruining the haul. <laughs> Where's the suspense? Look at that. Here's a better view of what the fabric is like. So it's very, very thin. Remember I was telling you like, who wants to wear those super heavy compression leggings during summer, it's so hot. See, they're super thin, very lightweight. It's kind of like sweat wicking material, so it's very breathable. Really pretty color, right? So yeah, that's what we're working with today. It's cute, right? And then I'm gonna pair it with a denim jacket on top because I'm cold all the time everywhere I go. It's just permanent state of my life. Um, pair it with a denim jacket, rolled up cuffs, um, and then these little converse. That's uh, Parker's undershirt on the floor because, because we're working on it. And then, uh, yeah. That's it, let's go eat. Oh yeah, let's do it. Let's get an action shot, boys. Yeah, go ahead. I think everyone got one. Oh, okay. This is awesome. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. That is fancy oh, wow. looking. That's pretty. I'm the one that ate all Egg, of the Eggs and everything, yeah. Thank you. I heard some judgment in your voice. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Everything. He can not see in everything. Everything is a good thing. <laughs> Internet service. Thank you. Can you have some napkins? Yeah, thank you. So put this in there. Yeah, do you guys want How fancy is this? And you get the fancy chair. <laughs> do you think they just have the upcakes? They're just like making them, making them, making There's them. There's a ton back there. There was like a thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, you guys. So we're here at Up Inspired. They served us in like 30 seconds. And there was a little judgment in their voice when they realized that all of this food was for three ladies. But in our defense, um, two of us are six feet tall and one of us is pregnant. So, well, that sounded like I was pregnant. Party of Stop it. Party of four over here. So, our food looks amazing. Musha's food is so fancy looking. <laughs> and why do I look so greasy? Um, and then Beto got the biscuits and gravy, but the gravy is made with cauliflower. I know it sounds weird, it sounds a little sketch, but it's actually very delicious. It's the second time she's gotten it. We got veggie hash. This is my meal. It's eggs over medium, bacon, um, sourdough, veggie hash. I already said that, but it's okay. Um, this restaurant's cool because like they use cage-free eggs, and this is nitrate-free bacon, and the hash is not made with potatoes. It's made with carrots and like root vegetables. And then this is the cauliflower gravy. And this, what is this, ham and eggs? Ham and cheese toast. Ham and cheese, but what kind of ham is this? Spanish, Serrano. right? Yeah, Serrano ham. So Spanish ham, and then look, a little poached egg. And we all got this deliciousness, but I mean, each of us got one, like we're not, not just yeah, like, we're not one playing. to yeah. share. <laughs> oh, and I got bulletproof coffee, because I'm gonna need energy today, and hopefully and it got, doesn't make me go potty. I got an iced chai. <laughs> This is that chai tea latte? Ice chai. Are you picking up the vibe? You're picking up her vibe? Ice chai. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys just saw that adorable clip uh, that also happened to be a massive failure. So Mern's allergies have been out of control. What's up with the seductive lighting? Like, hey guys. I need like some wife porn music right now. Mm -mm -mm. All right, that's much better. So um, Mern's allergies have been out of control and what she does is she really gnaws at the underside of her paws um, and her armpits. And so she'll give herself a yeast infection if we don't get it under control, like the itching. It's very rare. She used to be on Zyrtec. Bubble. 
She used to be on Zyrtec once a day. Are you so loud with your bone right now? Why do you keep dropping your bone? Why do you keep dropping your bone? She knows I'm talking about her. Hummer, let me see your bone. Show me your bone. So she'll scratch herself so much um, or like bite at her paws so much that she can give herself a yeast infection. She never has because I avoid it. So um, Wesley is the one that if he gets really itchy, he'll give himself a yeast infection in like 30 seconds. It's crazy. Um, but I don't want that to happen to Mern because she's so much bigger. Could you imagine the discomfort? Anyway. Um, we are just killing some time before we have to go to Top Golf. If you guys have never been to Top Golf, it's fun. It's like bowling, but with golf. So they have these little holes out in the field, and it's two stories, or three, I believe. And you just sit there and you hit balls and you eat and drink, and it's kind of fun. And so Parker's brother's wife is so competitive. She'll turn any any game into like a competition. <laughs> Parker and I are very like, okay, sure, whatever. You know, it's just for fun. Um, so it always ends up being a hoot. But lunch with the girls was so much fun. It's so exciting to see Veto in her pregnancy. I feel so separated from that now since, you know, my youngest is four. Um, it's been so long ago and she just feels like a little sister. And so seeing her go through all the same things that I went through a few years ago, it's, it's really exciting, you know, and just to be able to answer her questions and just share like my experience. Nusha will share her experience too. And Nusha's older than me, so she has even more, you know, to contribute. So it's really cool to, be a part of something um and of course we didn't leave um the lunch without planning for our next meet Mern, you gotta stop you're gonna scratch my floor um so we were like how about this day no i'm busy how about this day i can't how about this day no i'm out of town it was so hard we're basically not gonna meet until the end of july so we'll see anyway we are heading out the door i gotta put the dogs away so we're gonna go play golf and I'm gonna be super awesomely, amazingly good at it because I'm wearing athletic clothing. And I feel like that just instantly makes you good at, at sports, right? Right, Parker? Right. <laughs> He's a handsome man over there. Do you see that? Well, don't look too hard. I see those comments y'all leave about how he's fine. Dang, Parker's fine. I'm like, I know, don't look so hard. Personal property. There should be like a personal property clause, you guys. Don't be coaching us. Hey, you guys. So we just got to Top Golf, and I met someone. Her name is Kennedy, and she wants to say hi to you guys. Are you ready? Hey guys. Say hi to Kennedy. <laughs> yeah, she's totally gonna be famous. So we're actually still waiting for um, our friends to arrive. So we're just gonna check out the place, maybe have a little. <laughs> but I didn't know you could bring your own golf clubs. Had I known this, I would have bought my own golf clubs to pretend I know what I'm doing. But I'm not that level of douche canoe yet. Yet. You guys, I have to tell you a secret. I will not confirm or deny that I may or may not be inebriated right now. That's a word, right? Because that's how you say it in Spanish. Yeah, you, perfect pronunciation. Oh, snap. See, even though I'm inebriated, I can still say big words. So today was not supposed to go this way, but it's kind of one of those days where you don't plan it and it ends up being the most <laughs> majestic, magical day of your life. So we went to Top Golf, had a little drinks. Then I got really good at golf all of a sudden. Parker has a theory that maybe, maybe 
it was the Long Island iced tea. Then we went to Rock and Brews. Rock and Brews. Rock and Brews. So cool. They have all these classic rock um, flags hanging and art and everything's like classic rock. Like, you know when good music used to exist? And uh, maybe had a couple drinks there. I ordered a pretzel. It was as big as Mern. Mm -hmm. And now we're in the car and we're finding our next spot. I just haven't vlogged because if y'all think I overshare when I'm sober, could you imagine what I'm going to share with you guys later? <laughs> I guess you're going to find out. So I had to, I had to go back to my camera, aka what I'm holding right now, and watch the last segment that I, little blurb that I filmed for you guys before I went completely off the radar. And um, you basically left off thinking that I went on a drunken debauchery, like bar hopping adventure of life. Um, <sighs> which I wish I could say I, I did, but I didn't actually. So here's what happened. You and I left off on a Sunday, and I'm just painting the picture for you guys. We left off on a Sunday. So I went to breakfast with my girlfriends. I came home. I went to play golf with Parker, his brother and sister-in-law. Then we decided to do just this awesome adults only adventure because neither of us had our kids. And uh, we went to, um, a rock and roll bar restaurant. Um, rock and Brews was what it was called. Rock and Brews. Okay, my, my memory does not, you know, does not betray me. Um, and then they were like, well, let's keep this going. And we ended up at this New Orleans inspired um, um, restaurant, really small. Um, not my favorite place. Um, uh, it was, it was fun. But when I got there, you guys, don't you hate when you become an adult, but like a responsible one? Where I got there and I was like, I'm already feeling a little buzzed. But when you're at that fork in the road where you're like, if I have one more drink, I'm either going to barf or feel like crap tomorrow. And so you got to decide. You got to decide if it's worth the gamble. Do you want to feel like crap or barf or do you want to feel better? So I just got water and I got a little crap for it. Like mm, party, party pooper, whatever. I was like, first of all, the oysters are disgusting. Second of all, <laughs> I'm a huge, huge fan of oysters. I love oysters. However, the oysters at this restaurant were disgusting. They tasted like broiler. Like, hey, I'm sorry. I know 500 degree flames come out of that broiler. Doesn't mean you don't have to clean it, buddy. Okay. Anyway, so um, I'm kind of in a sassy mood today. I don't know if you can tell, which is why it translated into my makeup. Um, Homegirl is feeling sassy. So um, yeah, you guys. If you want to know why I'm feeling sassy, you should probably watch the Get Ready With Me where I show you how to get this look because I totally talk about it. Like I wasn't planning on it, but then I started to get a little like meh, like super catty in the video and I was like, I had to disclose because I was like, listen, my pandas are going to feel a little weird that I'm being extra sassy today instead of the usual, you know, Care Bear riding a unicorn over a rainbow into a bowl full of love. Like, you know, I need to deliver. I need to del That's why you come here. I need to deliver. So I'm feeling a little sassy today. Anyway, so we left um, that New Orleans restaurant. I don't even remember what it was called. Um, we left and we got home, I would say probably around seven. And so around seven is always the dog rush. It's the dog medicine, dog potty, play with the dogs because we haven't been home all day, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so we did the rush and we were so excited because we were waiting for the delivery of Bedjet. Yes. Okay. 
I'm always cold, legit always cold. And I used to blame my anemia. Now I just blame it on my skin and bones. Um, and Parker is always hot. So if I ever have to spend the night at his house, homeboy's house is like 50 degrees. I, I feel like I'm dying. Like I can't sleep because I'm awake, freezing cold, dying. And so I think he does it intentionally so that I cuddle with him, you know? And so um, when he's here, I have to turn down the thermostat to 68. He has his own little personal Dyson next to the bed. The fan in our house or in our bedroom is always on where it's like on hurricane setting and he's still hot. So he learned about this thing called Bedjet and it was supposed to be delivered on Sunday and we were so excited because that was gonna be like the conclusion to the vlog. Like we rushed home because we were like, okay, let me show them my Fabletics haul and then you could show them Bedjet and then if there's any other really hot natured partners out there that need a solution, we could give them like a mini review on Bedjet, right? So Bedjet is this horrendous apparatus, appliance, big white box that you shove under your bed and then a hose comes out from under it like a damn vacuum and that hose clips to your mattress and it blows cool air under the sheets. Now Parker's convinced that this is going to be the magic pill solution to why he's always hot at night but I think the magical pill magical solution is going to be the fact that men also go through personal changes in life where their body temperature is off and it just takes a little bit of time to get used to. <laughs> I am convinced that there is a life change that men also go through. And don't fight me on this. Don't at me on this. <laughs> Only agree with me. <laughs> Be completely biased to your loyalty to the panda community, okay? <laughs> so I can't tell him that it is as his girlfriend. Like, you seriously have a problem because my house is 68 degrees. You have two fans, one above you, one next to you, and you're still hot. <laughs> there's another There's another solution to this problem. Anyway, so it was such a buzzkill. The fact that um, Bedjet wasn't here, that we just, we just didn't vlog. We were like, Bedjet's not here. F that, let's go to bed. <laughs> And that was it. Monday rolled around. Monday and Tuesday were two of those days where you honestly think that your children have come together to plan a mutiny against your regime. Like that is what my home was like. I felt like I was, I was ganged up against by my kids and they were such challenging days. I was very sad at the end of them and I was defeated and I was tired and I was like, no, I'm not gonna show you my Fabletics haul. <laughs> I can't even show you a smile right now. <laughs> so any moms that um, their kids are on summer break for like two minutes and you're already like, how am I gonna do this for two more months? Yeah, crack in my voice. Yeah, that lump in my throat is real, y'all. It was very hard. Then Wednesday and Thursday, uh, and today, still now, I have this feeling, this looming, like impending doom, anxious feeling in the pit of my stomach and my chest, like something bad is gonna happen, or like I'm gonna get bad news, or like maybe I, maybe like something bad happened, but my body hasn't been able to catch up with it, like my brain's on it, my soul is on it, they're aware, but my body hasn't been able to like, to really digest it and it hasn't caught up. So for three days, I just can't shake this uneasy feeling. Um, not that something bad is gonna happen, but the best way I can describe it is like when your boyfriend says, hey, um, can we talk later? Um, I'm busy right now, but I'll call you later. You know that instant like gut punch feeling you get? Or like your boss is like, hey, before you go to lunch, can you come to my office real quick? I wanna run something by you. And you're like, oh, gut punch. Or um, I don't know, that just, that like anxious feeling. I've had that feeling for three days and I can't shake it off. And I'm like, you know what? I can't, I can't not shake it off. So I felt that way Wednesday. And then Thursday, yesterday, I was like, I'm gonna take a mental health day. That's right. I'm just gonna, uh, just sit at home, I'm not gonna work, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna do a Q&A on Instagram because that's always fun. And that was literally what I did all day yesterday. No one was here, Parker wasn't here, the boys weren't here, the girls weren't here, nobody was here except the dogs. 
So I took it as a like opportunity to, whoa, whoa, it's like you're in the ocean right now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I took it as an opportunity to just have a mental health day and just catch up. And I was like, maybe I'm just stressed out and I just need a break. You know, it's been a lot of changes recently. There's been a lot of people in and out and in construction and stuff. Maybe I just need to decompress. Nah, bro, that didn't work. Anyway, so today I'm just like, F this, F that, F everything. I don't give up about anything. And I just need to get back into the swing of things because today's Friday. My boys come back tonight. It's going to be a boy and girl weekend, which rarely happens in this neck of the woods. So, um... I'm just gonna show you guys my Fabletics haul and then this is gonna be a really long and very weird and very choppy vlog, but at least it's a vlog, right? <laughs> you guys, I wanted to get this done because next week I'm gonna be in Mexico and I really, I just, when I say I'm gonna do something, I wanna do it, you know? And when I didn't do it, I was like, Pfft. Maybe that's what's been looming over my head all week. Anyway, do you guys like my eyeshadow? I was feeling a little, hmm, I wanted to mix it up a bit. And why am I giving you guys weird eyes? Look, it accidentally matches my nail polish. This is like one of the ugliest nail polish choices I've ever made in my life. Um, I like the color. I just, the formula of this nail polish really upset me. Probably didn't help that I was having a stressful week when I decided to apply it. And I was like, mm, I'm going to apply it like crap. Anyway. If you guys want to see this look, I did film a Get Ready With Me. If it's live, I'll link it in the description box of this vlog. But for now, I'm going to show you guys my Fabletics haul. Now, you guys know that I am partnered with Fabletics. Um, they are one of my sponsors. So every so often when I do my Fabletics haul, I try to make it useful for you guys. Like I've talked about um, the importance of working out and the cool the cool compression fabric of their leggings. So Fabletics, I think if they were known for anything, it's their leggings. Their leggings are compression leggings. Some of them, most of them are high-waisted. So those of us that don't like that like low-rise feeling, um, they're friendly for all girls of all shapes and sizes. They come in three different inseams. So I'm a fan of their leggings. I personally enjoy their leggings a lot during the winter because they're very thick, very comfortable. Com Why did I say comfortable? They're very comfortable um, and they, um, they suck everything in, but the fabric is so thick that it makes you just feel secure. Now, the idea of putting on Fabletics leggings in June makes me want to hurl. So I was like, there is no way that Fabletics doesn't have summer friendly leggings. <laughs> I love, I love when I do research and I find out that there's more options out there. Anyway, so I've done like a leggings haul for you guys and I've done a how I style my Fabletics from workout to the day out, right? I think that was my favorite concept that I've come up with is how I take my leggings um, from casual lounging, hanging out, being at home to actually having to go out. And um, it was pretty cool because I styled them with like combat boots and with Converse and a hat, denim jacket, and it looks really cool. I think when you're gonna invest in comfortable loungewear, you have to be able to use it as workout gear, you have to be able to use it as loungewear, you have to be able to use it in different ways. Otherwise, it's just gonna sit in a drawer and collect dust. So when I had to plan for this video, I was like, oh, I don't want to pick leggings for June because it's gonna be miserable and I'm gonna get sweaty butt crack. I know, TMI, but guess what? It happens, it's the summer, we all get it, and if you don't, you're lying, girl. <laughs> we all get sweaty butt crack, okay? So I was shopping around the site and I was like, you know what? I don't need workout gear. What I need is clothes that's comfy and cute and then I could wear with jeans, that I could wear with maybe different kinds of leggings if they have options, um, and just clothes that is fun and low maintenance for summer. <sighs> you guys, Fabletics didn't let me down. So you guys have seen a bunch of the stuff that I hauled just from previous footage that I've shown you, like the blue leggings that I was wearing, thin. Not thin where you do a squat and I see your thong. No, thin as in breathable. Um, a really beautiful t-shirt that's the color of my eyeshadow. For some reason, chartreuse has been heavy 
heavy on my mind, you guys. So um, that's what I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna try on a couple for you, and then I'm gonna show you the previous ones that I already talked about. But I am so happy with the stuff that I got. And that's the cool thing about Fabletics. So Fabletics gave me the offer for you guys that's the two for 24 leggings. So if you guys follow the link in the description box below, you will get the offer of leggings for two for 24, which I'm excited to show you the ones that I hauled for the purpose of this video. Um, but on the website, they're not just limited to leggings. They have like lightweight jackets, they have t-shirts, they have tank tops, like this one that I'm wearing right now. How cute is it? Now this is a muscle tank, so it has that little peekaboo situation, which is the perfect opportunity for you guys to wear like cute bralettes. Um, hello, it's summer, you want a breeze, you know? <laughs> so, um, don't forget that if you do use the link in the description box below, you will get leggings, two for $24, but they also have other really cool membership perks like free shipping or discounts on all your purchases. They even ship internationally. Anyway, enough about this. Let me show you the clothes. So right now, Sophia is wearing some of the fluffy leggings in the color dirty white. Um, what are you doing on my bed, huh, little girl? What are you doing? Are you wearing some compression leggings over there? So if you guys have ever seen this cushion or this pillow on my bed, it's actually him. See? You see the likeness? Okay, these are the leggings that I was talking about. So normally, Fabletics are this type of fabric. I'll show you guys a different side by side. This fabric is so good because look how thick it is. It is so thick. It's not see-through. It sucks it all in. But if I were to imagine putting these on in full length in the summer, holy trauma, okay? That would give me severe, severe stress. But these here are thinner, but they're still compression. They're still thick, but they, okay, they're still thick, but they're thin. They're breathable. And then when you get down to like mid thigh or knee, they have this thin sweat wicking material. So your legs don't get all sweaty. And this is actually a little pulley thing. You guys saw it previously when I showed you the, um, the navy blue one. So earlier in the vlog, I don't know if you guys remember, you saw me wearing this t-shirt. And this is a crop t-shirt, but it's not short where it shows your belly button. It just literally like stays at your waist. I wore it rolled up with bell bottom jeans and wedges and it looked super super cute then on Sunday I actually wore this tank top which says California made you guys know I'm from San Diego um, I knotted it at the waist and I wore it with these um, beautiful leggings. I don't remember the name of these, but I really like them because of this detail that they have here. So I wore them with this. Um, another pair of pants, comfy pants that I got were these. These are some of my favorite style on Fabletics. I actually have these in like a mauvey purple shade already. So the waist is high-waisted, but you could actually fold it down and give it kind of like that yoga pant look. Um, they are very slouchy. I order size small, just like in the leggings, and they still fit um, pretty slouchy and cute. So I really like these. Now, this is a little bit brighter than navy. I think the camera's picking up the color just perfectly. These here are darker. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. So I really, really like these. My latest obsession, and I haven't actually worn this out, so I'm super curious to see how it would look. This is a workout shirt. It's a very thin, sweat wicking material, but I actually wanna wear it with like high-waisted white jeans or something more cute because of this awesome detail. You guys can totally see it right now in the back. This awesome detail that it has. So it has this mesh cut out in the back and then this really high slit and when they style it on the website the model is actually wearing this tied so there's a knot right here and um, it comes in almost like a crop top without being so short so I really loved that color and then this one I wanted to see just to see if I could actually pull this style off you see a lot of girls on Instagram wearing um, legging shorts. They're like biker shorts almost. So I thought, I'm like, okay, I'm going to order legging type shorts or biker shorts with like a matching cute loose slouchy top. So I was like, okay, this might be a cool way to kind of dip my toes into this style. So um, this is my little mini Fabletics haul, which I'm really excited about because I've had it for what, two or three weeks and I've already worn almost all of it. It's very useful and it's been very comfortable right now in the these hot summer months. Do you guys ever get an outfit idea in your head and you're like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be the cutest outfit ever. 
and then you put it on and your outfit completely betrays your love. That happens to me all the time. However, sometimes it pays off. Do you remember when I told you guys this tank top with high-waisted, wide leg, white jeans. Oh my gosh, my new favorite outfit. I think I'm gonna do this as one of my outfits for my vacation next week um, because it's so lightweight, so breathable. It's, it's really, really thin, but it's not see-through. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm wearing that pink bralette still and you still can't see it through the shirt. So I'm really excited. I'm excited when an outfit actually works out. Anyway, so if you guys wanted to check out Fabletics, you can still do the deal of two legs for $24. There is a link in the description box below. Um, but I think that's it for this vlog, you guys. I hate to be so like scatterbrained, but y'all, real life happens around here. I don't know if you guys can hear, but there's a lot of noise too. We have some work happening at the house right now. So like any and all my vlogs, all the places we went to, all of the stuff that I'm wearing, makeup that I've done, any of that stuff, there will be a handy list of resources in the description box below. Um, websites, links, all that stuff is, is always there, you guys. I really hope you guys use it and appreciate it. But most importantly, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love you guys so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this copy break is over. Bye guys. Hey, say bye to your friends. Oh, all right, say bye to your friends. Say see you next time. See you next time with my curly hair. I'm a pretty girl, always I'm a pretty girl. Yes, you are my pretty girl. Oh, you wanna say bye? You wanna say bye too? Come here, come say bye to your friends. Come here, you can do it, come on. Oh, where's my chubber nubbers? Hey, look up here. Say bye to everybody. Say bye, everybody. I love you.